Hey there, it's me, Neko, or most of you would know me as Cat Dude. First off, I'd like to say thank you for the recent support on the channel. We started the year with only 1.4k subs and now we're already at 5,000. You guys are awesome. Now, normally I'd want to do a special video for the occasion, but I think I'll save that for the next milestone since for this video I want to focus on tackling a few important changes and updates for the channel. There's actually two main things I want to talk about. First and foremost is the upcoming name change for the channel, and lastly I want to go into the details of why my videos take so long to make and the possible solution for it. So starting with my name change. Why after all this time would I suddenly change it now? Well, the best way to understand why is to go back to the origin of how I came up with it. Cat Dude was my original name for my first Reddit account, although my channel was made before that. At the time, it used to be called, um, <laughs> maybe it's better if I show you. By the totally original intro and the immaculate name choice, you could already tell how old I was when I first made this channel. And despite what the name says, I only made this channel so I could make a comment on the Minecraft trailer. Anyway, the Reddit account was just meant to be a way for me to troll my good friend Tomo by pretending to be an up and coming indie developer for a fan game called Dayship Simulator. Which is a funny story for another time. But all you need to know is that CatDude was created from one of the randomly suggested names to use when creating an account, which was GamerDude. Initially, I liked it, but then I thought about how basic it seemed. So I started thinking about words that I can replace Gamer with that would also fit me. So then that's when I remembered, I'm a huge cat person. I have two spoiled cats, and the majority of my favorite characters are based off of cats. So I went with it but added the extra T because somebody already took the normal one. And thus, Cat Dude was born. So I renamed my old channel and made some new accounts with it. And for a while, it just stuck. However, eventually I started thinking about other YouTubers and their channel names. More specifically, how they could be used as nicknames and aliases. For example, Pyrocynical can be just shorted to just Pyro, Markiplier can just be Mark, and Manly Badass Hero can just be Manly. But for cat dude, it's just cat dude. And if you try to shorten it, it's just cat, but that sounds weird. Overall, the name was good, but for some reason, it still felt like it was incomplete. Like it was lacking something that made it uniquely mine. So, after spending a couple of days thinking about it more and more, that's when I came up with a new name, Neko Dude. And while it seems like a small change, I think it was perfect. Neko means cat in Japanese, and I'm still using the double letters this time. Not because it was taken, but, but because it also mirrors my real name in Japanese, as Marlo is pronounced and spelled Ma'aro due to there being no L in the language. In a way, the double letters are what made the name unique and personal, at least to me. And as Neko dude, I can basically keep the original meaning of being a cat dude, but now I can also use Neko as my nickname for whenever I do let's plays or collabs with friends in the future. To be honest, I've actually been planning this since last year as my accounts in Dragon Ball Legends, Pokemon Unite, Honkai Star Rail, and other games I play already use the new name. So in the coming weeks, I plan to shift my name towards Neko Dude, slowly and carefully so that newcomers who are just coming to the channel won't get too confused by the change. Now onto the last part, my videos. While my upload schedule has drastically improved compared to last year, it's still kind of slow. Why is that? Well, first there's the usual time it takes to research a topic, gather assets like videos and images to edit into the video, then decide on what music or sound effects to use. And all this is done on my old laptop that really needs to be upgraded or replaced soon. To put into perspective how weak my laptop is, in order to play TF2, a 17 year old game, I have to reduce the graphics and the screen size just for it to be playable. But despite how bad that sounds, these are the more manageable problems. The real issue is time. Long time viewers would know by now that I work a part time job in the fast food industry, but ever since then it's basically become my full time job. Due to multiple bad circumstances over the years, I'm kind of stuck with it. 
I work the night shift and I only get 2 days off a week which I use to work on videos if I have the time. Even on work days I still edit and research until 3 in the morning. My coworkers are nice in general but the work, the pressure and the mental strain that comes with working at fast food are what cause me a lot of stress. Now combine that with my low self esteem and you can see why I procrastinate regularly. That's actually why my videos sometimes feel incomplete or rushed due to me not having enough time and ending up removing parts. The most notable example was the Sumotori Dreams video where it was pretty good but I got a couple of things wrong due to the rush. Now what is my solution? Well to be honest it's something I wish I did a little bit later down the line as I feel like I don't deserve it just yet. But since I'm a bit desperate, I'll give it a shot. And that thing I'm talking about is memberships. I was recently monetized near the end of March and I'm slowly making some money. Not a whole lot, but it is something and I'm very grateful for it. But my fast food job is just barely enough to get by. And whatever I earn here is not enough to let me leave or at least get a few more days off in order to focus on videos. So that's why I'm planning to open memberships as it's completely optional. If you have extra money laying around or you're just someone with money to burn and like my content, then you can support me by joining or just donate any random amount. I'm still working on what kind of tiers and rewards I'll offer but I probably won't go too expensive on it. Although I will say I have a few creative ideas as benefits for those who join. If I get enough members, it would also mean multiple things. Firstly, higher quality videos and consistent uploads due to being able to ask for more days off and potentially saving enough money to upgrade to a PC. And for those who are waiting for my fan games like the Shift Simulator or Raid in the Pyramid, you'll have to wait a little less longer as I'll finally have time to work on them on the side. Speaking of which, shout out to the person who added Raid in the Pyramid to the Stickman wiki. In summary, I plan to change my name to NekoDude and I'm opening memberships. I really want to keep making videos for you guys and eventually make YouTube my main job. And while I feel like I'm asking for too much right now, I'm not going to be forcing it. Regardless if I get some members, if any at all, I'll still be working on videos as usual. As I still have a lot of plans for future topics and projects. More now than ever as I keep getting suggestions in the comment section. And I do try to read all of my comments so every suggestion I get goes into the list of potential video ideas. And that'll be it from this update. Once again, thank you so much for 5000 subscribers. I promise to keep doing my best to deliver good content worth watching. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.